Uh, for me, Web3 means that uh, you are interacting with a website, but instead of using passwords or similar logins, you are using something called a wallet software. And this wallet software has some cryptocurrencies like Ethereum or something similar. And then you are interacting with a blockchain as a backend database. For me, that's the definition of Web3 from an end user perspective. So I think a lot of people who are mm, more familiar with the uh, traditional monetary valuation that's based on hard physical assets like gold and um, properties, right, would look at these NFTs and think, are, are these, you know, are these scams? Uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of scammy projects right now. And uh, you have to know that uh, some of these prices are inflated and uh, there are many reasons. Um, there's also this uh, very interesting thing that because blockchain is kind of anonymous, not really, but a little bit, uh, you can practically sell your NFT to yourself at any price. Mm. And let's say you get a loan, for example, you don't have any money, you just get a loan and with that loan, you can buy an NFT and because um, you will receive uh, the uh, price for the NFT, you can instantly uh, give back the loan. And uh, this is called something flash loan. And this is really interesting that by uh, not having any money, you can move and transfer a lot of money in one single transaction. And if it succeeds, then you can practically sell yourself your NFT for any kind of money. And people will look at your NFTs and think, oh, someone mm. bought this NFT for this terrible amount of dollars. It should worth something. And last but not least, uh, art has been always uh, a very effective way of laundering dirty money, right? And if you combine this uh, with the web free world and NFTs, it's a very easy way to say that okay, I have a lot of money I want to clean. How do I do that? Let's buy a cheap NFT, then uh, use my dirty money to buy mm -hmm. this cheap NFT. And then I can prove uh, to whatever governance that uh, government that, hey, uh, someone, I have no idea who bought my art uh, for this ridiculous amount of money. I paid my taxes. I have clean money. Right. Okay. Uh, so uh, thank you, Zoltan, for your time today. But one last question before we go. So advice to people not to fall prey to these scams. I guess the obvious one is, you know, um, do your due diligence. And I think you also mentioned take time, don't rush. Exactly. Right? Yes, that's exactly what I wanted uh, to mention that uh, Whenever you are prompted with a window that confirm or reject or transferring money, mm. uh, stuff like that, pause for a moment, pause for a minute, pause mm -hmm. for two minutes, because you can lose a lot of money if you mm -hmm. click on the wrong mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Don't let your emotions get in the way. Exactly. Like some of these uh, phone calls that we receive. Oh, your grandmother is sick. Please send money. Exactly. Yeah, don't panic. Take time. Cool down. Think about exactly. it. Right. Okay, thank you, Zoltan, for your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jim.